got Herb Tanton on the podcast today, my my client success coach. So I recently hired a client success coach. My man Herb has 40 years of experience in fitness. He's helped eight bodybuilders turn pro. Um, many have lost. He's had many clients lose over 200 pounds with him, and he's planning to step on stage at 59 years old this year. Um, so super excited to, to kind of get you guys to, to know Herb a little bit better. My clients have been getting to know him and everything like that. Um, he's also decorated in MMA. He was an MMA competitor. Um, and I'm ignorant on that side of things, Herb. So like, you know, what, what are your accolades in the, the realm of mixed martial arts? No, martial arts. Well, I started martial arts in, I believe, 1979. <clears throat> so yes, I was born before Google. Um, Actually, I got into martial arts uh, looking for some kind of mentorship, I believe. I had an abusive family growing up, so <clears throat> ran across a buddy that was studying martial arts. I was 16 years old. He took me to a class. I tried it out, fell in love with it. It was great. Um, started training. Uh, 16 years old, I started t assisting in kids' classes. One thing led to another. Um, so this is back in the time when, again, pre-internet and all that, so you had to do you know, your own marketing and your own um, promotions and stuff. So I started competing um, in uh, kickbacks, kickboxing, um, amateur Muay Thai um, when I was 17, going on 18. Um, again, just to promote myself because I originally wanted my own school someday. Um, I ended up <clears throat> receiving a fourth degree black belt in Kempo Karate. Nice. Um, at that point, I was running my instructor's school, competing, um, you know, just again, <clears throat> embracing the lifestyle and being healthy. And for the first time, really, you know, being around people that were uh, positive in my life. Um, so at that point, I was like, man, I got to teach. I got to help other people like myself. This has done so much for me. Yeah. So like I said, I ran my martial arts instructor school for a couple of years. He called me into his office when I was 19 and said, get out, go open your own school. Nice. So I did. I had my first martial arts school when I was 19. And by the age of 22, I had three schools um, competing. At the time, it was, you know, called uh, Volley to Do, um, Pain Creation. Um, and now it's called Mixed Martial Arts. But uh, again, it was the, the concept of trying to match your skill against somebody else's, you know. Yeah. And at that time, I had started studying Jeet Kune Do, which is Bruce Lee's art. Um, Bruce Lee's came, claimed the fame is basically he studied different systems to find out who the best kickers, punchers, trappers, and grapplers were and yeah. study all the systems and put them into one eclectic blend <clears throat> so that you would have a skill set for any range that you were in. Oh. So that led to the MMA. So Bruce Lee was doing original, he was doing grappling. We've got pictures and drawings of him doing arm bars on the ground in the 1960s. When everybody else was doing that point karate and Chuck Norris shit and all that yeah. spinning stuff, Bruce Lee was on the ground. He was grappling in the 60s. So he was way ahead of his time. Awesome. Um, so again, <clears throat> I got the skill set to fight in all four ranges, started teaching that, started competing. Um, you know, one thing led to another. I had born and raised in Michigan. I ended up moving to Hawaii to continue to compete. Um, and if you were born in Michigan, you don't have too much of a trouble moving to Hawaii. So um, ended up doing that. And again, it just led to a, a great career in martial arts. Um, and I've enjoyed it ever since. Awesome. Awesome. What, what brought you to the, the bodybuilding realm of things? It sounds like you were really into MMA and, you know, pretty awesome career with all of that. Like what, what was the transition towards more kind of like, um, bodybuilding and, and just general fitness training mm -hmm. and stuff like that? Well, it, the, I actually, was, you know, everybody lifts weights as a kid and you're, you're a teenager, you're a punk, everybody wants to bench press, blah, blah, blah. Um, funny fact is I ended up breaking my arm skiing. Yeah. Um, at that point, I was like, mm, teaching martial arts and fighting, breaking an arm is not very good. Yeah. Um, one of my black belts owned a powerhouse gym. My wife was running the gym for him. Um, and he said, let me rehab that wrist. I'll make it bigger, stronger and faster. And that was back in the, you know, mid eighties, late eighties, where everybody thought, no, no, you lift weights, you're going to slow yourself down and become too bulky, all that stuff. I ended up getting bigger, stronger, and faster. Yep. And I was already in school taking, you know, pre, pre classes I needed. So I just switched over kinesiology and sports nutrition and just got addicted to it. Yep. Um, again, you know, skinny, abusive, abused kids. So I was like, man, now I can pack on muscle and be a martial artist. So I had that concept of being a, 
Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Lee mix <laughs> kind of thing as a kid, you know? Nice. So I got into the bodybuilding and again, because of martial arts, I understood how the body worked mechanics, um, got numerous black belts and, you know, jujitsu, shoot wrestling. All, you know, we did a lot of stuff. So I understood the mechanics of how the body worked. Yeah. So putting that into fitness and muscle time under tension, all that. So I just got caught up in it, um, ended up turning the fitness part of it into my sport. Martial arts was my career. Right. And, and, you know, and I'm living in Hawaii <clears throat> doing my thing. And one thing led to another. And I just, you know, started training and teaching and a bunch of ladies over there wanted to, you know, go on stage, um, you know, because in Hawaii they have uh, big bathing suit contests every weekend and stuff. So you can win good money. So started training and one thing led to another. I got uh, more education, competed in a few shows <clears throat> and then I helped my ladies do it. And it, it's been fun. You know, I mean, awesome between martial arts and doing fitness for a living, it's not a bad way to go. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, it's kind of interesting that you're kind of shift towards more bodybuilding and put on muscle and kind of just shifting towards that happened from an injury because I, if people went to high school with me, they, they know this story and I've, I've shared it on YouTube, but I fractured my ankle playing football and then I gained like 30, 40 pounds of muscle in a, in like a short period of time, like under a year, um, and, and like all my friends in high school, they were like, did you take steroids and stuff like that? It's just, it's kind of interesting. Cause most people, you know, they get an injury and they just use it as an excuse to sit around and, um, you know, it's a certain mindset to be like, okay, I broke my arm skiing, but, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like just seeking out what you can do from there. Um, and not, not like using it as an excuse or playing the victim, but figuring out like kind of what the next step is to keep leveling up. Um, yeah, yeah. It just, it, it just made me stop and go, what's important. Yeah. You know, I mean, literally I broke my arm in two places. I had no flexion in my wrist and the doctor, funny enough, had the exact same break. Now he used to be a surgeon and he told me, here's what my arm looks like now. I couldn't be a surgeon anymore. I'm disabled. And I'm like, that's bullshit. So I went to a therapist. I went to a lady that knew about nerves and she ended up shutting off my nerves and just reflect. Bottom line is after that, I ended up getting a 440 pound bench. Yeah. Um, continue to fight. Does it bother me? No, I just have a little less flip, uh, uh, ability to flex my fingers than other people, but I didn't want to settle for what my doctor was telling me that I was unable, unable to do the rest of my life. Just didn't make right. any sense. So yeah. that kind of power to control your own physique and health and everything was, was very, very enlightening to me and being able to share that with other people. It's great. Yeah. You know, that, that moment, the client, light bulb goes on. They're like, Oh shit. I see yeah. what you're talking about. <laughs> that to me was that's, that's, that's what I'm in it for. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, you know, that just interviewing you for the first time, like when I first um, interviewed you for, for this position and everything. And like, you know, after having some client calls with you, some group calls, it really is that mindset that I feel like, you know, it's like you have it, it's hard to describe, but it's certain little things like that with that story. Um, and, and just, you know, it's, it's that mindset of not playing the victim and, and like mm -hmm. taking control of your life and it's, it's contagious. And it's yeah. like, you know, I, that's, I'm seeing that just you being a part of the community now with the fitness junkies and us just kind of feeding off of each other. I, I can tell like other people's mindsets are changing in that way. Um, and it's, you know, I feel like we've got some momentum going here and it's, you know, it's just awesome yeah. to see, um, like-minded individuals just kind of like, you know, feeding off each other and just helping this, whatever we want to call it, but just like this, not taking, you know, you're, you're never going to uh, be able to use your arm again for, for like an answer. And just like, you know, just having the mindset of like, we're taking control of our life. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome to see this just kind of get infected into, <laughs> into the, yeah, community. Well, you know, <clears throat> we've talked about this with the clients and, you know, again, I don't want people to think I did this on my own. I've yeah. had mentors all my life. I look for mentors every day of my life. Yeah. All right. Somebody that I can learn from because we're all going to make mistakes. I just want to find somebody that's in my area that's made a shit lot of mistakes that I can learn from. Right. So I don't have to make them. But we we all have a choice. We have two choices in life. You get you, the pain of regret or the pain of uh, discipline. You know, and that's it. That's it. I mean, it's as simple as that. We can flower it up and put a little fuzzy tail on it. We'll call it whatever you want. Yeah. But the facts are you're, you're you're faced with challenges every day and you have a decision to make. You know, and yeah. you make decisions based on your own best interest, I hope. Um, 
and, and, but you know, you take all the information everybody gives you. I'm not stupid. I mean, I seek the doctor's profession. I went to a chiropractor. I went to a holistic healer and then I made my decision, you know, and that was 30 some years ago and I'm still swinging. So, yeah. you know, again, I, I'd like to say that was the great decision to make. So. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. And it's, I, I don't know why people think, or they have got the mindset of like, I can just do it on my own. Cause I'm, I'm the same way. It's like, you know, you, you met my business coach, you know, I've got a mentor there. Um, you know, I've got my own, even though I'm a coach, I've got a fitness coach, right. I've got like a kind of like a life coach, if you want to call it that just with, with kind of like, you know, relationships and personal things too. It's just, you know, I, I don't know why people think, or maybe just have like the ego of like, I can do it all on my own, but it's just, man, I, I don't know how anyone could do it without mentors and help and seeking extra guidance, stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't be any fun. It <laughs> yeah. wouldn't be any fun. I have great relationships from 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. You know, and, you know, again, it's it, it, people have to make decisions for themselves. But again, it's get all the information. But, you know, people are scared of what other people are going to say. Yeah. Right. You hear that all the time. Well, here's one fact I know for sure. Nobody is bad mouthing you that's doing more than you. Right. The only people that are bad mouthing you are ass clowns that are doing less than you. Yeah. Stop and look at the people that are criticizing you. They're sitting on a couch, drinking a beer, eating a pizza, going, yeah, you're going to the gym and you're, you know, this, that, and the other thing. That's bullshit. It's like, really? <laughs> yeah. I can't so imagine. Just, yeah. It's like, it's like some of the, I get comments on some of my posts on social media. Yeah. I'm like, I would never take the time to, <laughs> yeah. to just go out of my way, criticize someone like this. It's, yeah. it's comical yeah. to me. So. Yeah. So any, anytime I see get, get criticism, just stop and think, and is that person doing more than you or less? Yeah. They're always doing less. Yeah. Yeah. So, so again, you know, stay focused on the future. You know, that's why they, they say the rear view mirror, everything looks so small behind you because it's not important. It's that window in front of you. It's <laughs> yeah. really important. Right you now. Yeah. I want to make a shift here recently. Um, I think it was just last week. We did a group call um, and you were talking about some of your most successful um, clients in it. You know, I could just feel the passion that you had when you're just talking about, you know, past clients and stuff like that. Um, what's what client success story are you most proud of? Like what kind of looking back, like what, what gets you pumped up? Like, you know, if there's ever maybe stuff going on in your head, it's like, you just think of this person um, yeah. and it helps it, pump you up. It's the underdog. It's the underdog. So I would have to say, let's call her Kelly. So Kelly was extremely overweight. She was 380, 90 pounds, six kids in seven years. Yeah. Um, a husband that was more verbally abusive than anything. And, you know, she, she ballooned up. She got out of shape and um, he divorced her. And it was like within two days of that divorce, she lost her job. So she moved in with all her kids, moved into her sister's place you know, one bathroom, nine people. I mean, she was at the bottom. She was at her wits end. Um, I met her at the women's abuse shelter that I helped build <clears throat> and start talking. Her sister was like, can you help her? I'm like, of course I can help her. Um, and, and we worked together for over two and a half years. Yeah. Um, and again, people think the weight loss journey is about, let me lose some fat. Let me get my abs out. I look good Weigh. you know, it, there's so much more to it. Right. <clears throat> so much more. So she grew as a process. And bottom line is two and a half years later, she lost like 280 pounds and wow. she's got her own modeling agency. Wow. <clears throat> she has uh, offices in Hollywood, uh, New York and Paris, yep. you know, and I'm like, wow, are you the same person you see You saw the before and afters. They're like, yeah. You know, and the biggest thing I recognize on the before and afters is the face, mm. that smile. Yeah. <laughs> right. That look of total accomplishment. Right. Right. Regardless of how you look, it's how you feel. Yeah. Because again, you and I have been in this business a long time. I have met so many people that are beautiful or gorgeous and literally hate themselves. Yeah. Right. So again, every day I meet somebody um, I've learned, you know, because having a fighting background and everything and doing bodyguarding and securities, you have the tendency to think I'm on the edge all the time. But whenever I meet somebody that's a little out of, you know, road, you know, driving crazy or just acting like it, I always think everybody's going through something. Yeah. Right. And give them the benefit of the doubt, yeah. you know, because they don't know what you and I know. 
This is a total body experience, a mind body experience. Um, the longer you're in this business, the more you realize it has very little to do with the physique. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, drop your calories by 500 and work out. You'll fucking lose the weight. Yeah. Right. But it's, can you keep that off? Can you make it a lifestyle? Who's around you to support you? Right. right? That is so important, right? Yeah. You need people that are going to support you and push you, not yes, men. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's great. And we've been through that. I've been through that in my career. I actually, lost the business because I listened to whatever everybody let me say and do whatever I wanted. And they backed me instead of saying her slow to fuck down. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's good to have coaches. I think everybody in life has mentors. You can listen to any interview with Elon Musk and some of these guys, they talk about their mentors. Yeah. Right. You think they don't still talk to them. You say they don't seek out counsel. Right. Yeah. There's, there's a lot to unpack with that. Yeah. And it's, you know, I, I wanted you to to talk about Kelly. I, I figured you're gonna talk about her because yeah, you got you got emotional on our group call talking about yeah. it. it's, it's awesome. You know, because I, I you know maybe some of the clients didn't feel it as much as I felt it, but it was like because I talk about some of my clients and I, I get feeling that way too. And yeah. so, so it's you know kind of real, recognizes real there. Um, I wanted to unpack what you said too about um, you know having the mindset of everyone's going through something that that's gonna help you too because you know like you said like someone's going through road rage you know, that they, they're, they're, you know, pissing you off on the, on the drive to work or whatever it is. Like if you're, if you're like, that guy's an asshole, right. And you know, everyone's out to get me, that's only affecting your mindset. Yep. If you, if you look at it, like, you know, that guy, he probably is in a rush because, you know, he's trying to make, make something happen for his family. Or like, you know, maybe he even has an emergency he's trying to get to, you yep. know, that that's going to improve your mindset and just like have, keep you in a good mindset. So I think that yep. that's a great mindset to have just, you know, kind of, always giving people the benefit of the doubt like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. yeah, I mean, you're going to get burned on occasion, but again, it's like you said, um, you know, a lot of people go through life going, Oh, Cade's mad at me, man. He's pissed at me. And then have a conversation with you two months later and find out you don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're never yeah. mad at me, but yet I beat myself up for two months. Right. right. You always, you get this all the time. Anytime so our job, I consider our job a very, very important one because we give a service to people that are, some of them are very desperate, Yeah, right? They've tried everything. They've heard the bullshit from the trainers that, you know, just want to look good and have 20 inch arms and care about themselves. And they're frustrated. There's, again, we've both been frustrated. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm old. I have a lot of frustration, yeah. you know, and I look back and yeah, I could have done things better. But the point is going forward, what are you going to do now? Right. Yeah. You know, and, and it's hard sometimes. But if you surround yourself with like-minded people, right, that understand, yeah. they're going to they're be there for you. Yeah. And it's, it's interesting what you said about Kelly with, with her smile and her face and like how, you know, it's, it's more of like, you know, she changed with how she feels and stuff like that because we just finished our transformation challenge, as you know, today. And we got like our progress pictures from our top three and um, we got, you know, our, our uh, testimonials from our top three. It's just interesting how in the testimonials they gave us, like, they, you know, they, they talk about their, their weight loss progress, obviously, and kind of like what they, what they uh, accomplished physically, but it's, <laughs> they kind of honed in more and I wasn't expecting this, but like in their testimonies, they're talking about how, how their mind has changed. Right. And kind of like how, how their mindset and how they think has changed through this process. And I think that's what people don't realize in a journey like this is it is, you know, and like you said, the more we do this, like the more I've realized, you know, it is more the mindset we're working on to get you where you want to go and how, and what's going to help you kind of create this lifestyle for the long term, right? Sure. It's like, we, we think it's just calories in calories out and, you know, just, just working on the physique, but it's like, it, it is the mindset that's going to help you adopt these habits for a lifetime. So yeah, yeah 100%, 100%. Yeah. So awesome um but yeah and then you know what just to kind of change change directions here uh when i first interviewed you and you you know well first you applied for the job um and then we we spoke on a couple different calls like what made you want to work with me in, in the fitness junkies and everything like what what kind of made you want to dive into this and shift, well, shift directions i i saw a lot of me and you <laughs> um as far as again you're you're, you're helping a lot of people um, and, and, and I could tell you were overwhelmed because you yeah. just want to help more people. <laughs> right. And been there, done that. My ex-wife used to say, oh, there goes Herb trying to save the world again. <laughs> you know, <Yeah. clears throat> um, and I just thought, number one, I thought, man, I can help this guy. 
Yeah. <clears throat> He's got a great program, great concept. I can add to it at the same time. It's going to reinforce things in me that I need to spend more time on. Cause you're, you're, you're a lot more analytical than me. And obviously <laughs> you know that my analytical skills are not my forte, <laughs> you know? So I think that we work good together again yeah. in the end kind of thing, yeah. but the belief system's the same, the support system's the same, right? Um, the drive to help the clients. Um, and again, I think one of my biggest assets is I don't have any problem admitting I'm wrong when I'm wrong. Sure. You know, again, because I don't look at it as being wrong. I look at it as, man, I made a decision based on the information I had yeah, and it was correct. But now I got more information. I'm going to change my mind. Yeah. Right? That's what this business is all about. Fitness is changing. Nutrition is changing. Supplementation is changing. Yeah. And, and, and you start to realize, wow, if I was to follow everything I read, I would be screwed up because there's a <laughs> lot of BS in this business. For sure. You know, and I just saw something in you and I thought this, this guy's on the cutting edge and, you know, uh, in, in the future, you're going to, you're, you're going to have a, you're going to have a program and a name that really resonates with a lot of people in this business. Um, you know, and you can look back and say, yeah, that old guy was with me for a while. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. And that's, that's what I'm trying to create, man. You know, um, I want fitness junkies to be a household name. I want to help as many people as we can. Just yeah. like you said, like I, I was, you know, feeling overwhelmed with, with all the people I have in the program and everything. And it's, you know, I think I tried to just try to just grind through. I thought I could just handle everything. And, you know, I never really, I don't know. I never even really like looked into the future to, to say like, I will need help. And, you know, I, I honestly, it is a scary move for me, right. Kind of bringing someone on. Like it's, it's scary. Cause I, I've, I've built relationships. We talked about this in our, in the interview, like, you know, I've built relationships with all these clients and they like, trust me, it's, it's scary to kind of hand that off right? Yeah. And, and, yeah. and like bring someone else in and, and yeah. have them help the clients and everything too. So, um, yeah. but yeah, well, you, I, you have to get rid of your ego a little bit. Yeah. You, we all know these influencers on TikTok and Instagram and you see them and, oh yeah, they look great, but their attitude sucks. Yeah. It's all about them. Right. You and I get our workouts in, but we really don't talk about our workouts with our clients. Right. It's all about our clients. Yeah. Right. There's yeah. so many trainers. It's all about them. Yeah. You know, sure. Sure. Um, and so, you know, you and I do our thing because it's our passion. But when it comes to our clients, we're like, what can I do for you? Right. How am I going to get you to that next level? And by doing that, you and I are pumped to go after ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's true. Again, I'm not rushing you, but I would love to see where you're at when you're 59. <laughs> yeah. Right. The things that you can accomplish now and the people that you'll have in your portfolio, yeah. it, it's, it's going to be great. You yeah. Know? I'm pumped. Yeah. yeah. And, um, there was a couple other points I wanted to to bring up yeah the the yin yin and the yang i completely agree like yeah i i didn't really know coming in but yeah you're you're you know you're more of kind of like i feel like we've honed in on your strengths like it's like the communication with the clients it's, it's your energy it's your passion it's your experience um so i think we complement each other really well because i'm kind of like you know making sure we're, we're hitting all the details and kind of keeping us in line with that and it's like but you're just you know you're pumping me up on these calls and stuff like that you know we're having our, our calls with clients i'm like man, Herb's getting passionate. It's like, this is awesome. So yeah, it, it's, it's really weird because I don't really, I, I don't, that's just me. I don't, I don't see <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Even after I look at the video, I'm like, oh, okay, I see what they're looking for. Yeah. But I've had it so many times where I'm having a conversation with somebody and look barely enthusiastic and people are just looking through the window in the office, like Herb's going to beat this guy's ass. <laughs> and I come down and they're like, why are you mad at that guy? And I'm like, I'm not mad. We were just very passionate about our discussion. Yeah. Right. Yep. If you're not passionate about something, it, why are you doing it? I mean, right. it's this, it's not easy eating properly. Yeah. It's not easy getting your butt up on days. You don't want to go to the gym and going to the gym. Yeah. But if you want the results, you got to put in the work and you should appreciate it and be, uh, I don't think you should brag about it, but you should definitely let people know this didn't, this doesn't happen accidentally. Right. This is yep. the most purposely based movement you can do and once you get done with one day you gotta do it again <laughs> yeah. you know so it becomes a lifestyle and like you know like you, you can say people were like oh you got to get up and go to the gym and i'm just watching tv on the couch i'm relaxed i get so pumped after my workouts man i'm just I thinking know. about what i've accomplished in the past and people saying you wouldn't be able to do it now you're doing it and then some yeah and then you got your clients that are now with me and my clients 
And we're all talking about just having a great time. Nobody, we all have issues and our clients have issues and we're helping them. They're not using it as an excuse to quit. Yeah. They're just saying, coach, I was diagnosed with a bad heart, yeah. right? One of our clients this morning, I have a bad heart. How am I going to work around this? He didn't want to give up. He wanted to figure out how to incorporate a new lifestyle yeah. and eating into his plan. And he's gung ho, ready to go. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. There's a lot of, there's a big difference between you sharing your problems with me and you using those as excuses, like you said, being the victim. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, nowadays, the people that get the most airtime are the victims. Right. Because nobody wants to hear about you rescuing the cat in the tree. I want to hear about the cat that got hit by a car. Right. right? Everybody wants the drama. Yeah. Right. That way they they don't, they, they, they feel better about their lives. Yeah. So it's, it's almost, and again, it's almost like, we've created this community like we're on our own little island <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know? and everybody gets it right we're on these group group calls and we have these great group calls twice a week and everybody gets it yeah right? they're they're yeah. coming there just to be part of it yeah right yeah. they're not necessarily looking for a question or having any input they just want to be around other like-minded people that reinforce what they're doing and give them their energy yeah right so again, I'm just, I'm dude, I'm just so happy to be part of it. That's all. Awesome. Yeah. It, it's kind of funny because you think sometimes that it's going to be yeah, on these group calls, like, all right, we need to have the best information, right? Like we got to, we got to be up to date and like do our research, but yeah, yeah. you're right. It's kind of, just, people just want to be a part of the group and it's like just kind of feeding off of each other's energy is mm -hmm. what I feel like everyone gets the most benefit from. So totally, totally. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you, you don't, if you got to lose 60 pounds, the minute you lose that 60th pound, you don't become happy. Right. Right. And I was taught by my uh, spiritual advisor, a little quick story. He came to me one time, the guy's six foot four, 440 pounds. Oh, wow. He's got fists like this. <laughs> so he comes up to me in the gym. He goes, Herb, you look like you're really happy. Are you happy today? I went, yeah. And he punched me in the chest with that big old claw. And I'm like, oh. he goes, you're happy now? And I'm like, not really. He said, because happy is an illusion. What you want to be is fulfilled. Yeah. Happy is what kids see when they say in cartoons and stuff. He says, an adult, you have to find something that's going to make you fulfilled. Right. Now, you and I have that with our jobs, 100%. Yeah. Right. This, this isn't who I am. It's what I do. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like you say with Kelly, you know, and she texts me on email or texts me on Facebook, you know, and I haven't talked to her for a year and she sends me an updated picture. She looks better than ever. And I'm like... So you made a deal with the devil too, you know, I mean, and it's just great, you know, because I don't remember who sold me my car six months ago. Yeah. I remember where I bought it, but the guy didn't do anything to change my life. Yeah. But I have clients from 20, 30 years ago to still reach out and say, thanks coach. Yeah. I know. Pretty tight. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. I, you know, I, I even just, you know, we'll probably talk about this later her, but I've got a call set up with a previous client that I had in the past. Um, and, and you know, for whatever reasons we, we stopped training with each other. Um, but he recently in the last three months, like just turned a corner, um, and lost 40 pounds, <laughs> like in three months. And he's like, Hey man, I know I wasn't the, the best client when I was working with you, but, um, you know, it, I really did take a lot away from, from working with you and, you know, changed my mindset and stuff like that. And, you know, even though we, we haven't been working with each other the past few months, he like made this crazy transformation. Um, and he's like, you know, most of it was mindset and diet, but now I'm ready to get back on the workout side of things. And he's like ready to take it to the next level. So it's, it's just so interesting. You, you know, you don't, you don't really know hundred percent what's going on in people's minds. And like, I thought, I thought, man, I'm failing this guy. Like he wasn't seeing the progress we wanted to see when I was working with him, but it's like, it just took him some time. And like when, it, when he was ready, he like kind of just internalized everything and saw the progress. So it's just, yeah, it's just interesting. Yeah. It's, it's and, interesting. It, and I know you didn't ask this as a question, but it's, it's the one thing about this industry, and it's a personal issue, it's my issue, um, but it's the biggest thing that disappoints me about this industry. And it's when I start caring more about my client's health than they do. Yeah. You know, I built businesses for, and I was I had a consulting business for 25 years, building gyms and stuff. And, and it's the same thing. I get passionate, man, I'm in it to win it for you. And I find out, you know, I'm on a Sunday writing out your diet, getting things done, and you're out playing golf and you skip the gym, Yeah. you know, and I'm like, you know, so there's a lot of things that you and I have to keep to ourselves, you know, in order to, to be that, you know, that coach that's never down, right? 
I'm not sure what happened there. I don't. I hope we got that <laughs> recording. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure if you splice it, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. But what, what were you saying there? No, I, I was. I don't know where it froze up. I just, you know, my biggest thing that because people always ask me what what's the one thing that disappoints you the most, and it's just me caring more about my clients than they care, mm -hmm. right? So that's why this is. It's ninety percent mental. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's like anything. It's corny, but you hear it as true. If you believe you can do it, you're right. If you don't, you don't, you can't. Right. So it just comes down to a choice. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then once you make the choice and you join the team, man, we're going to, we're going to make sure you're successful. 100%. So be careful what you wish for. hundred percent. Yeah. And one thing I was going to say, and then we'll I'll ask just one more question because I don't want to see it cut off again. Um, but I was just going to say like, yeah, it's, you know, I got to the point where I couldn't do this alone and I couldn't be happier how things are going so far with you, man. So I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, what, you know, what do you think is kind of your vision, maybe like the next couple of years um, for you within fitness junkies and just kind of like, where do you see things going for yourself? Um, you know, again, I would, I would like to double what we're doing currently. Yeah. And then, you know, have a couple extra coaches on, t on staff. Yeah. I would like to have two live events a year. Yeah. I guess we could have one in Texas, you know, <laughs> and just have a get together like, a, you know, and have speakers come out and, and work on the mindset stuff. And then, you know, have, have a group workout in the gym. Everybody pairs up and have a great workout. Yeah. You know? But, sure. you know, again, that'd be great. We could do something like, you know, up here in the great white North, we have the Ohio Cla or Arnold classic in Ohio. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, we can meet there and, and, and I'll go see the show together. We can go to Vegas and watch the Olympia. Um, That'd be awesome because there's so many things to do in this with our health and energy now right yeah, for sure and, and a lot of people just they don't know what they want they just know they have to lose the weight and it's just very fulfilling to watch somebody grow into what you know the potential is yeah and they don't see it yet yeah right yeah. it's kind of like when you know i teach a, a self-defense i work with the military and law enforcement i'll teach them something and say this works and they'd be like, thanks, coach. And then two weeks later, they come back and go, look at this. This works. And I'm like, wow, wonder where you learned that. You know? So sometimes the truth you discover means more than the truth I give you. Yeah. Right. And in this journey, what I love about it is if I say, try this exercise, tell me if you feel it in your chest, you will feel it in your chest. Yeah. Right. You don't, you get immediate feedback. You get immediate results. You don't have to sit around going, well, I wonder if this is going to work. Mm -hmm. Right. So I love it because it's, I mean, I get the giggle all day when I see people like, oh, this isn't going to work. I'm like, okay, try it. <laughs> you yeah. know, and they do it. Like, oh, shoot, it works. Yeah. You know, so as far as fitness junkies, you got the, the sky's the limit. Yeah. You know, but getting out there and, and, and enjoying time with each other and teams, I think that's, that's, that's where we need to go. Yeah, for sure. Well, I'm pumped to, to just see us grow, man. And guys, like be a part of the movement because like I'm seeing so much community building within our group calls and you know you'll see it when we do live events because we we do do that already herb and i'd love to get you to yeah. texas if you'll if, you, if you'll make I'm it open. yeah so so it'll be awesome but um guys be a, be a part of this you know learn from herb's experience um so reach out to us you know message me on instagram message me transform if you're looking to change your life this year guys um other than that appreciate you herb just excited for the future we're gonna be doing weekly a podcast me and herb now on, on just jamming on certain topics and stuff like that so stay tuned for that um subscribe to the channel if you're not already like like the damn video if you liked this um and we'll see you guys in the next video and in the meantime elevate every damn day appreciate yep. you herb thanks guys peace, peace out goal elevate only obligation is to tell it straight